Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Uh, in this video I'm going to work with pagination on front-end and also with uh, resource on the back-end we're going to format the code how we want. So, for pagination, I have searched and just let me search for Vue.js Laravel pagination and we have here a plugin so you can navigate to Laravel, Laravel dash view dash paginationorg and let me just zoom it and let's install this we have yarn and npm we use pan on our project so let me just come here and because i use pan i'm going to say yeah uh, ban and paste that in so add laravel view pagination okay everything good next we need to import we have here bootstrap 4, bootstrap 5, and tilewind pagination. Because we use tilewind, so we're going to import the tilewind. And uh, let's do that. Let's, uh, or let's go to quick start here. And we have an example. So, I'm going to copy this. Sorry. Copy this here. Open the post index page. And I'm going to zoom it like this. Here we have the import. And let's import this style in pagination. Okay, next we need to create a Laravel data. And I'm going to copy what we have here. Okay, create a console Laravel data, which is ref with an empty object. Then we have this get results, which is an async, and pass in a page here. By default, the page is one. Then we create a response, await, fetch, but instead of this, we're going to use the axios. So let's copy this one. And uh, we need to pass here page. So instead of this, let's say like this and we need to add the page also question mark page to be able with page and then we say level data dot value to be able with uh, let's distract the data await data and I think we are okay here. Then we have a type for post. Let me just cut this and put it right here. Get results. I'm going to call this get result. So let's just cut and call it right here. And okay, let's say await, and I think we are okay now. Next, uh, we need to add this one, so we make a table. After the table, I'm going to add the pagination, time pagination. I think we are okay. Let's see on the browser what we have. Come here and refresh let's see what we have as data post yeah we have laravel data with ah yeah because we need to open also the backend let me just open the backend and here we say get instead of get we're going to need to say paginate and i'm going to say paginate by five okay to save and now let's see on the browser if i refresh now we have pagination, next, and previous. So the pagination works, but we need to display the data. And let, uh, here, let me just fix now the table, because here we say we if post, but we don't have post, now we have the Laravel data. And I'm gonna say we if 
Laravel Data dot data because one more time if I come here and just refresh we have the data here so if the array is more than one we can say data dot length is greater than zero okay but this may be a uh, Undefined, so I'm going to say question mark, and then we say pause in Laravel data. And I think we are okay. Let's see on the browser. Yeah, refresh. Next, previous, next, previous. Okay. Now I'm going to modify the because if I see the Laravel data and also the data, which is the post, we have body created up all of the fields we have in our database, but I'm going to change them. For that, I'm going to, or let's open here. Artisan make colon resource. And I'm going to make a post resource. Okay, hit enter. And now here I'm going to use that post resource. I'm going to say post resource collection passing the post. All right, now if I see nothing is going to change on the data here, we have a Laravel data, ah yeah, because we don't need to say JSON a refresh everything works correctly, but let me just see here Laravel data has data links and meta now on the data we have both the created other and so on, I want to uh, format them so as you can see we have the is underscore published i want to say is capital p to say is published also the updated ad is going to be not like this but uh, a formatted time and i'm going to remove the user id so let's open this post resource and here let's format our resource with that the ID, the title, also we have the slug, so let's add the slug. To be this slug. And uh, we have a body, so let's add also the body. So this body. Next we have the is published, which I'm going to say is published like this or just published we can say for example just published like this and here we say dollar sign this is published okay and let's add also the created ad or not like this but created ad like this, and I want to say dollar sign of this created up, but I'm going to say diff for humans. Okay, I'm going to save it now. Let's see in the browser what we have if I refresh go here as you can see now we don't see the published ad but if i come here laravel data is yeah we have body created ad 40 minutes ago id published which is false and slug and title okay now let's come here and 
change something. First in the post I'm going to add the ID title and let's say just published which is a boolean also a body yeah body which is a string and the created add which is a string but created add is like this and we don't have a updated art. I think we are okay like this. Let me just see one more time what we get. We have a body created out ID published and slug and title. Yeah, we need also the slug here. So slug is a string also. Okay. Let's create also the type for Laravel data. Laravel data, which is going to be data is going to be a post array, and then we have let's see. Then we have here links which is an object with first last next and preview and meta which has also links as an object okay so let's do that let's say we have links and if i say also meta here now we can say this is going to be a Laravel data win with okay like this if I see now yeah everything works okay we can work also with links but I'm going to leave it like this and maybe behind the scenes I'm going to fix them and I think we are okay now with pagination also. Oh yeah. Let's scroll down and add the title published. Also, I'm going to copy this and paste for slug. To display the slug. And also the created ad. We'll say created here. And then we can display. Is published is going to be just published. And here is going to be a slug. Here is going to be published, and here is going to be the created out. Now we have title, slug, published, and created out. Like this. Okay, friends, that's it all about uh, this video. What I wanted to show you. Now, if you like such a video, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.